And then you're married, I'm married, you have a family. And these are things that I'm actually talking about with my wife now. What's the best way to go about it in terms of what you're doing and becoming successful and relating that with your wife? You just said the key, key words. Communication? Relating with your wife. Make it relative to your wife. Relate it to her. And that could be her participating, either physically participating in it, or emotionally participating, or intellectually participating. Relate. Relating. How, how do we do anything? It's simple. Connect on emotions. Mm -hmm. If you can connect emotionally to your wife about what you're doing and make her a part of... My, my wife, I couldn't do anything that I've achieved. I couldn't do without her because she's the most relative person in my life I relate to her she's there I, I, she's part of my intuition she's part of my inspiration but she's part of it like I, I, I made it the first round in my life when I lost everything I thought I was helping her by taking care of everything mm -hmm. she didn't know anything about my finances she didn't know anything about what I was doing and I thought I was giving her a great gift of a living nanny, didn't have to do anything, beautiful cars, beautiful daughters, you know, the spa, you know, the trips. You know what I gave my wife the second half of my marriage? I related my everything to her. Everything, I, I relate to her. Does, does she run my business? Not a chance. Okay. <laughs> not physically, not a chance. But she is heavily attached. Yeah. To my business. Yeah. With you know, what, what, the financial planner I use, and there's a lot of financial planners out there, there's a great piece of advice if you're a financial planner. The reason I chose, don't think that almost, there's a ton of different products out there. The, the, the reason I use Al Manfred, my financial planner, is that I know emotionally that if I would lose my money, it would hurt him more than me. I know from having children that it hurts me more than it hurts them when something hurts them. When I when my, when my daughter went to college and was emotionally scared, man, that hurt. Right? If you've ever had a child injured in any way or sick, oh man, you. Did. Well, that's how you want your wife to be with what you're trying to do with your life. You, I, I, I had you know something happen that's a challenge in business. It was more upsetting to her. Mm. Why? Because she relates. She, that relation, she's, it's there. I'm emotionally connected. People buy on emotion for logical reasons. But the problem is everyone uses logic and forgets to connect emotion. It's like you said in one of your talks. You said, it's not what I said, it's how you felt. Right. I remember that. Same thing remember yeah. too. It's not what they say, it's how they say it. Yeah. Right? There's some people, I, I see it all the time. I say stuff that I've learned and stolen, just like everyone else has learned and stolen. But <laughs> right? I have read every Bible. I read Course in Miracles. I've read existentialism, physics, quantum physics. I don't know what's mine, but it's how I say it. All of a sudden, people call me a genius, and you can say the exact same thing. I've had it happen to me. Lee Steinberg was that way, where I learned it most. I would do deals three, four months, do everything, say the exact same thing. That guy could come into a room and say, the, and the people would be like, oh my God, yeah. he's a genius. Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> that's how he said it. Yeah. Yeah.